So here we have 10.3 using the remainder theorem to evaluate a polynomial. So there's a, the remainder theorem. And the remainder theorem tells us that P negative 3 equals the remainder. Now this will come in handy later. Right now, it seems more like it's the harder way to find P of negative 3 because I know a way to find P of negative 3. I just plug in negative 3 and I'll get the answer, okay? So I know what the answer is just by using my calculator. Negative 2, negative 3, raised to the third power, minus 4 times negative 3 squared minus 5. So I know that the answer is 13. Okay, I know that P of negative 3 is going to equal 13. So that also tells me that the remainder, after applying synthetic division, will be 13. However, the computer does want you to actually finish the problem out and give the quotient and the remainder associated with this particular division. So you do, it is forcing you to do the synthetic division and it won't allow you just to plug it in and say the answer is 13 because you'll be missing a lot of the other parts of the answer, okay? So it does want me to give it the quotient and the remainder as well. So the quotient and the remainder. And I can't get those unless I do the synthetic division. So first thing I need to do is make sure this is in descending order and that all the missing terms are filled in. So I have cubes, I have squares, I do not have regular x's to the one power, and I do have constants. And then this three, because it's not x minus three, it's just the three all by itself, the k value is equal to negative three. Whatever's in that parentheses, that is the k value that you use in the synthetic division. So then when I go here, I'm gonna put negative three and I'm going to do just the coefficients, negative two, negative four, zero, and negative five. Bring down the first number, multiply what's down here, combine, multiply what's down here, combine, multiply what's down here, and then combine. And sure enough, I get that positive 13 remainder like I thought we would, right? Or that we, using the remainder theorem, we knew we would get. However, it does ask us for the quotient and the remainder. Remainder we know is gonna be 13. It's gonna be the same as the P of negative three value. Quotient is the harder part. Remember, this is your constant, your X's, and then your X squareds. So the quotient is gonna be negative two X squared and then a positive 2x, and then a negative 6. And so you have to fill in all three of these pieces. It won't have an r like that. It'll just say p of negative 3. And whatever you wrote for the remainder, it's the same thing for p of negative 3. Because that's the remainder theorem, is that these two are the same. 